This conference will now be recorded. My colleagues, Brian McDaniel and Kena Schottenlower are also joining me today to visit. Today's event is called Journey to Wellness Prescription, Life Simple 7. We will learn how your organization can promote chronic disease prevention and management through the distribution of the Journey to Wellness Prescription, a non prescription that encourages individuals to create healthier lifestyles based on Life Simple 7. In addition, there will be a Q&A session with our presenter immediately following the presentation. Please feel free to enter any questions you may have in the chat box. We will address as many as possible during the Q&A session. Just a few other reminders. Please know you have the capability to have your camera on or off and to mute and unmute your microphone. While you're not speaking, please remember to keep yourself muted. And again, if you have any questions throughout today's webinar, please add them to the chat box on the right side of your screen. Our presenter today is Natushka Murray. Natushka is passionate about taking a holistic and preventative health approach to educating and bringing awareness to, to, to the community. She is a certified community health worker and currently works for the Florida Department of Health and Miami-Dade County Office of Community Health and Planning, where she serves as a health services representative. With a hands-on approach to helping her community, she believes in the motto, many hands make light work. Her passion and contributions lead to a continued approach of promoting chronic disease prevention. Without any further ado, I will turn it over to Natushka for our presentation. Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for that introduction, and thank you for having me. All right, well, to get started, I wanted to ask you all a quick question, and please type yes or no in the chat box. What if I told you that there is growing evidence that supports the theory that can stop doctors from always reaching for the pills and instead prescribe nature and eating smarter. I know that'd be something that I'd be interested in. I hope you guys are as well. All right, so this, let me introduce you to the Journey to Wellness prescription. Today, during the Journey to Wellness prescription Life Simple 7 presentation, we will be discussing what it is, where the idea originated, its benefits and impact, and how you can receive it free to distribute out into the community. So what is the Journey to Wellness prescription? It is a non-pharmaceutical prescription provided by healthcare professionals, not limited to nurses and doctors only, but anyone providing direct healthcare services. The Journey to Wellness prescription is more of a form of preventive medicine encouraging the promotion of health and well-being while providing resources that may prevent disease, disability, and death. So let's talk about the, the background of the Journey to Wellness prescription. So the Journey to Wellness prescription was originally known as the Green Prescription and was originated in New Zealand in 1998. The New Zealand Green Prescription um, is where health professionals write advice to patients to be more physically active as part of patients' health management. Most green RXs are to support prevention and management in patients with chronic disease and long-term conditions such as cardiovascular disease and diabetes. In particular, the Green RX encourages patients to manage their own conditions by increasing physical activity along with improving nutrition. So this next slide shows the impact that the Green prescription had in New Zealand. Now, there were about 3,000 participants and that conducted, you know, that were surveyed in 2018. The participants all had different health issues. Some of them were weight, you know, had weight issues, um, high blood pressure. They had issues of, they were at 
arthritis, back pain, stress relief, and diabetes. And after six to eight months of using the green prescription, 71% participants noticed positive changes in their health. 65% made changes to their diet. 67% encourage others to be more active. And, and 61% are still more active before they receive the green RX. And 43% um, have lost weight. These are great findings that allow the seed to be planted for more fruitful health outcomes in the future. I mean, so many of us already know the basics of conducting a healthy lifestyle, but never adhere to it. So having a healthcare provider prescribe physical activity suddenly is taken much more seriously. Our next slide will show the samples of the green prescription. As you can see, they're very similar to a regular prescription size. And this was actually um, based out of New Mexico. So many cities, many countries have adopted the green prescription um, and it's been working well. So you can take a look, you'll see that there's a, a place where they're um, offering different types of physical activity. Um, you know, some providers that are licensed to provide more detailed instructions, you know, they're, they're, you'll notice that they'll say, you know, how many days per week they should be working out and et cetera. The next slide also shows um, more examples that were used. This one's from the U.S. National Environmental Education Foundation. All right. And the last one is an example that was used in, in Canada. As you can see, they have the benefits of daily activity and, of course, the recommendation, um, a place for the doctor to sign. All right, so now we're going to talk about the journey to wellness prescription, which is basically Department of Health's Miami-Dade's version of the green prescription that was created in New Zealand. OK, but we didn't stop at only promoting physical activity. We also address resources that encouraged an improved diet along with tobacco cessation. OK, so now this was created um, out of the Miami-Dade County, uh, Miami-Dade, uh, uh, excuse me, Miami-Dade County's Florida Department of Health, Office of Community Health and Planning Communication, I mean, Community Health Action Team, which is better known as CHAT. And we, be, we created this in 2015. And during that time, 69,818 prescriptions were dispersed to community members at various health fairs, health promotions, um, our health and wellness clinic, um, and many other community events. And the good news is, is that a lot of the participants that received the green prescriptions, when we followed up with them, they did report to have healthier lifestyle modifications. The next step we are hoping for is to have the journey to wellness prescription be distributed to all of our programs within Miami-Dade County. Um, so far we have WIC, we have STD HIV that is providing the journey to wellness prescription. We have had partners already in the past, such as um, Miami-Dade County Parks and Recreation and Open Spaces. They've been providing it to some of their clients, the Children's Trust, Healthy Start Coalition providers, West Kendall Baptist Hospital, University of Miami and Barry University, and the list continues to grow. Uh, all right our version of the green prescription, the journey to wellness prescription. The journey to wellness prescription is as a tear off sheet sent to the size 
of other prescription pads, as I mentioned before. Each pad has about 100 prescription sheets, which are double-sided. The front side has physical activity recommendations, including aerobic and strength activities, and encourages recipients to go to local parks and access um, an, a website to find locations and activities near them. That website is miamidade.gov forward slash parks, all right? And clients are take healthy lifestyle classes that are offered throughout the community. Clients are also encouraged to consult their health care provider before beginning any exercise program. This is especially important for people over the age of 35 and for those with any pre-existing health conditions. Clients should discontinue any exercise that causes pain, severe discomfort, nausea, dizziness, or shortness of breath, and consult a medical expert immediately. The Journey to Wellness prescription also provides additional linkage to online resources, which we'll go into detail at further slides. All right. Now on the back side, it has additional websites, which is choosemyplate.gov and cdc.gov. This is where clients can access additional information on increasing physical activity, maintaining a healthy weight, and eating healthy. On the back side, clients are also encouraged to access the Consortium for Healthier Miami Dades interactive resource map at healthymiamidade.org. Here, you can also find a quick checklist inspired by the Americans Heart, American Heart Association's Life Simple 7. The tips provided here will create healthy habits. And on the next upcoming slides, we'll, we'll delve into them a little bit more so I can we can further ex explain what Life Simple 7 is all about. All right. So Life Simple 7. So the Department of Health in Miami-Dade designed a journey to wellness prescription to include additional healthy lifestyle messages, including healthier eating habits and tobacco-free living, like I mentioned before. So this is Life Simple 7. Each tip provided are, are all foundational in assisting in the prevention of chronic disease. These are small and simple changes that make a big difference in living a better life. So on the next slide, out of the Life Simple 7, we created eight tips to convey the message of the Life Simple 7. So the first one is increase your physical activity. Now we all know that increasing your physical activity is gonna provide more energy, it's gonna reduce stress, assist with feelings of anxiety and depression, and improves cholesterol, which is what we all need, especially during these times. Um, you know, I know mental health is definitely an issue during these trying times with COVID-19. So um, this is a great tool to provide to clients and encouraging them to live healthier. Um, the next tip, maintain a healthy weight. In addition to lowering the risk of heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and high blood pressure, it can also lower the risk of many cancers when maintaining a healthy weight. Eat more fruits and vegetables. So fruits and vegetables are the foundation of a healthy diet, and I'm sure we all know this. Fruits and vegetables are packed with fiber, vitamins, and antioxidants. Um, that include calcium, magnesium, potassium, zinc, vitamins A, C, E, and K. Um, it also provides fiber in your diet. Not only will that keep you regular, but it also keeps you feeling full longer. Um, fiber also controls blood sugar and lowers cholesterol levels. Fruits and vegetables, whole grains and legumes are all good sources of fiber. Remember to always aim for a variety of colors on your plate. Eating two servings or more of fish weekly. Eating two servings of fish is a great way in adding healthy fats to your diet. 
monosaturated and polyunsaturated fats are important for your brain and heart. Adding fish with healthy fats such as salmon or tuna into your meals twice a week is very beneficial. Fish is low fat and high quality and, and provides high quality um, protein. Fish is filled with omega-3 fatty acids and vitamins such as vitamin D and vitamin B2. Um, it's also rich in calcium and phosphorus and is a great source of minerals and iron, zinc, iodine, magnesium, and potassium. The American Heart Assess Association recommends eating fish at least two times minimum per week as part of a healthy diet. Consuming 3.5 ounces or more of grains daily is the next tip. So reducing, reducing, I mean, well, not reducing, pardon me, making sure that you eat 3.5 ounces of whole grain daily is very beneficial in reducing the risk of chronic disease and may help with weight maintenance. People who eat whole grains as part of a healthy diet have reduced risk of some chronic diseases. Whole grains provide nutrients such as vitamin B, vitamin E, minerals, phytochemicals that are vital for the health and maintenance of our bodies. So 3.5 ounces is equivalent um, to about three and a half slices of whole wheat bread and about two cups of brown rice, bulgur oat, or oatmeal. A slice of most breads and a cup of cold cereals and the amount of dry rice or pasta that cooks up to about half a cup all weigh up an ounce, okay? Our next tip is limit your intake of beverages with sugar to less than 36 ounces weekly. So we all know that too much sugar isn't so sweet on your health. Limiting your intake of beverages with added sugar to less than six ounces weekly is a great start in creating healthier habits. Added sugars contribute zero nutrition, but many added calories that can lead to extra pounds or even obesity, thereby increasing your risk of chronic disease less than, um, thereby, I'm sorry, thereby reducing your risk of chronic disease. Less than 36 ounces equates to no more than nine teaspoons for men and no more than six teaspoons daily. Limit your intake of sodium to 15 milligrams or less daily. So the body needs only a small amount of sodium, which is about less than 500 milligrams per day to function properly. That's the amount of about less than one fourth teaspoon of salt. Very few people unfortunately come close to eating less than that amount, okay? Um, we should all definitely take this into consideration and in making sure that we're watching how much salt that we take because the kidneys in our body, it regulates the body's sodium level by ridding, um, getting rid of excess. But if there's too much sodium in your bloodstream, the kidneys can't keep up. So excess sodium in the blood pulls out water from the cells. As the fluid increases, so does the volume, which unfortunately means that it makes your heart have to um, work a lot harder because of the increased pressure in the blood, okay? So that will heighten your chances of chronic high blood pressure, um, your risk of heart attack, and even, and even stroke. And our last tip that we provide to clients, don't smoke or use tobacco products. So we all know that cigarette smoking harms nearly every organ of the body. It causes many diseases and reduces the health of smokers in general. Quitting smoking lowers your risk for smoking related diseases and will add years to your life. So those were some of the tips that will be found on the journey to wellness prescription. Another highlight of the journey to wellness prescription is we do have an interactive resource map. And with this map, 
when you um, when clients go to it, they would input their zip code and it will populate all the um, different resources um, that they have near them, um, such as the parks and recreation, open spaces, restaurants with healthy options, um, community farmer market, farm, excuse me, community farmers markets, healthy hubs, and smoke-free buildings. So you input your zip code and all of these different locations, um, you'll be able to find something near you that you, you know, whatever you choose to do. Now the interactive resource map can be found at healthymiamidade.org, which is the consortium for healthier Miami Dade. Okay, if you click on the Healthy Miami Dade, um, there it is. So if you click on Make Healthy Happen Miami, it's a tab found on the top of the page. Healthy Miami Day, perfect. And you would go to 2020 Initiatives, and that is where you will find the, you will go, once you go to the 2020 Initiatives, you will go to the Make Healthy Happen map. Let's see, and we're gonna scroll down. And this is where you can find all the resources. You'd input your, your zip code, like I mentioned before, and these are all the different places that um, provide healthier options that we discussed. Thank you so much for that. All right. Some additional resources that can be found on the journey to wellness prescription. So sorry, just give me a moment to enlarge the screen. And while we wait for that, okay, it's gonna, okay, there we go. Um, is for, they have additional information where um, there's some, some resources provided such as choosemyplate.gov and cdc.gov. Also, you can, um, through the choosemyplate.gov, you can build healthy eating habits by using the Start Simple with My Plate mobile app um, to pick daily food goals, to see real-time progress and earn fun badges along the way in improving your diet. Also on the green, I mean, not green prescription, the journey to wellness prescription, there, um, there's information about our health and wellness center um, where we provide free biometric screenings and free chronic disease prevention materials. Unfortunately, right now during COVID, it is closed, but you know, um, always stay, keep, you know, keep posted. You can always check on the website and we'll always at the Department of Health let you know when that's open again. But that information is there too. Another additional resource that we have is the Florida Departments of Health Quit Your Way program. It provides free and evidence-based tools and services. You can access tools like a two-week starter kit of nicotine replacement patches, uh, text to quit, email tips, and a guide and a quit guide. They can also choose as many as they need. Um, you can also that they can also call. Um, through a phone. They also have group programs and web quit services. Um, they, this program, which I feel is, you know, it's a good, it's, it's amazing. They've helped more than 234,000 Floridians quit successfully. Um, smoking, that's thing, you know, as a habit, please refer them to the, um, the Florida Departments of Health Quit Your Way program. And they can access that by visiting tobaccofreeflorida.com or 1877-YOU-CAN-NOW. The next slide we're gonna talk about is how can we order the journey to wellness prescription pads? So once you go on the consortium website, the same place where you found the um, interactive resource map, okay? 
you are going to go to the health education tab. All right, then journey to wellness pres green uh, wellness prescription. Then you're going to click on the journey to wellness prescription pads request form. Okay. And there you'll be able to input your information and we, you can either have it delivered to you or you can pick it up at our location. Additional information about the journey to wellness prescription can also be found on this page, um, such as frequently asked questions, data, um, prescribed in three different folds of the journey to wellness prescription which are provided in different languages. Um, I didn't mention that before, but you can create in English. Um, personal tracking forms, Department of Health Journey to Wellness Policy, and also, also on that page, okay? And a copy of a Journey to Wellness prescription if you decided to provide that for your organization. Or you can just have someone from our office present on it. Okay, as you can see right there. And our next slide is just some resources um, where we got um, about the green prescription in New Zealand. And I want to leave you guys with a quote. Um, one of my favorite quotes when it talks about prevention. It's a quote by Benjamin Franklin. And it is an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I um, want to thank everyone for their time. Um, if anyone is interested or has any questions, please type it in the chat box. And if you're interested in me following up with you and providing you with the links to make it a lot easier for you to order some free um, Journey to Wellness prescriptions, please put your emails in the inbox. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, Tushka, for that amazing presentation. Uh, we're now gonna turn it over uh, to Brianna for our Q&A session. Thank you, Robert. I have about three questions that were submitted to us. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat box and we'll move forward with asking those. So the first question that I have here is how do I get access to the Journey to Wellness prescription resources? To all the resources? Um, well, you can always contact um, someone from the Department of Health, or you can go to the Consortium for Healthier Miami-Dade um, website, Healthy, um, the, the website that I went over with you guys, which, uh, and then you can click on the different tabs that I showed you guys. I'm a little nervous, so excuse me, but you can find it on the Consortium website. Perfect, thank you so much. The second question that I have here is, is there a fee associated with this program? No, there isn't. Mm -mm. It is free. Okay. And the third question is, which organizations would best benefit from using the Journey to Wellness prescription? Mm, good question. Um, well, any organization will benefit um, in using the journey to wellness prescription. Um, even if you're not seeing outside clients, this is a great tool for worksite wellness programs within various organizations because they can provide it to their employees in promoting health. Um, of course, organizations that um, see community members, um, such as healthcare organizations, um, sc schools, um, different organizations that, that 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 see clients on a regular basis benefit um benefit best in using the green prescription the journey to wellness prescription perfect and so far that's all the questions i have i did see a question in the chat box 
asking if they could, if we could forward this PowerPoint presentation, um, just to let everyone know these presentations are recorded and they are posted on the website right after. So once I hand it over to Robert, I can actually put that link in the chat box that way you guys have access to this afterwards. So I will hand it back over to Robert. Thank you, Brianna. All right, so today's event is part of the Florida Department of Health in Miami-Dade County Office of Community Health and Planning's new webinar series titled Healthy Habits Here. Three events will be held each month and will cover a variety of topics, including nutrition, mental health, tobacco cessation, and chronic disease self-management. Please stay tuned for future announcements on our January events, which will be sent out soon. And finally, please make sure to visit healthymiamidade.org to receive the latest updates from the Consortium for Healthy Miami-Dade, as well as other health educational information. Thank you again for joining us, and a big thank you to Natushka for her amazing presentation. Have a great rest of your day.